What's going on, Star Wars fans? Games are coming at you. We're going to be talking about Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, if you guys have not seen it yet in theaters, I do recommend you guys go check it out um, before you watch this video because this is going to take massive spoilers. So I do appreciate if you guys go check it out. But if you don't care about spoilers and you just want to hear about this, go ahead and leave a like as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. But guys, I want to talk about Luke Skywalker and Snoke. Now, if you guys saw the movie... We know that Luke kind of disappeared, that he's supposedly dead, and Kylo Ren put his grandfather's lightsaber and sliced Snoke in half. Now, are these two really dead? That is the obvious question. One, I'm going to talk about Snoke first, and then I'm going to talk about Luke. Snoke, we've only seen maybe less, less than 20 minutes of Snoke in both movies combined. Now, for him to drag Husk in a uh, communication era device. How in the hell did he get sliced by Kylo Ren for him saying, oh, I know everything you're going to do. I know everything he's going to say. He says, come on, slice her down. And he projected the connection between Rey as well as Kylo Ren. Now, this is what really, really bothers me, is for Snoke to be so powerful, how did he supposedly die and is he actually alive because for him being so powerful him having the ring apparently that was uh that was crystal rock that was from Darth Vader's castle I don't know the precise name as well as how him being so powerful and is he an ancient Sith Lord um what is his origin now there was really not a whole lot that was answered in this movie about Snoke's origin and now since it was directed and written by Ryan Johnson and the three movies that he's going to be doing, will that involve Snoke? There's no guarantee right now. Will we see him in episode 9? More than likely, don't know. Because even a lot of people are speculating, is Snoke really dead? Is Luke really dead? So for the first few minutes, I am going to be talking about Snoke like I've been, and then I'll be talking about Luke. So, Snoke. Snoke is a very interesting character. For him to be killed off supposedly that quick, he projected himself onto the Imperial Starship in The Force Awakens, and then The Last Jedi, he did the same thing, and he dragged Husk like he was a ragdoll. And then he, you know, controlled the lightsaber and the others like it was nothing when he just bumped right in the head with uh, Anakin's lightsaber. So it really kind of goes into hand-to-hand -hand going, okay, if he's able to do that, how come he was not able to sense what Kylo Ren did to him when, next thing you know, his body just falls? So was that just, like, a, a huge trick? To post like, oh, you know, I'm still here, I'm, I'm, I'm alive, you know, somewhere else where you think that. Because if he's actually dead, I think that really just pisses me off and pisses a lot of other fans off. That he's, for someone to be so powerful and get killed that quickly, you know, and not really show where he comes from or his origin is really stupid and really poor writing in my opinion. If they do not actually have a... Uh, object to actually go, hey, this is what Snoke's about, this is where he comes from, this is why he's so powerful, this is how he turned Kylo Ren, this is how he knows so much about Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, the Empire, he's seen everything, so it really kind of goes hand in hand, is he really alive, or is he was really being played the entire time, and was he actually not really a worth character to even um, involving as well as even discuss. So it really kind of goes, like, really, like, are you really going to kill off a character that we know nothing about, and actually may not even talk to him about it because it's like, okay, well, if Snoke is alive, how could he have survived? How is he able to project himself in his own room, look alive, have be sliced in half, and not be able to have nothing to go with it? So it, it really just pisses me off about that. And guys, let's talk about Luke. For Luke to really exile himself like that, and what him, you know, him talking about Yoda, him pretty much doing the same thing Yoda did, and then him seeing Yoda, it really kind of goes, okay, well, what the hell was, I mean... It, 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 it's like if you are a fan of Star Wars, you understand why he did that because he was, he was so, he failed because he knew he failed the students, he knew he failed himself, he knew he failed everybody, he failed his own nephew, he failed everyone because he took it upon himself, thinking that Kylo Ren had already turned to the dark side when he had not turned yet, and he failed and he, for him to project himself. And in an astral project form, almost like he wasn't even touching the ground, and then him to supposedly die, dissipate the same way Obi Wan did, in the same way that uh, Yoda did. Now is he fully dead? That's a hard another question. Um, he 
maybe he was on another planet, maybe, or maybe he was, uh, maybe he does become a force ghost, maybe he does, maybe he does become a force ghost, maybe he becomes something like Yoda, as well as Obi-Wan, as well as his father, as, as well as everyone, because now he becomes one with the force, he becomes more powerful, he becomes even more to where everyone thought, like, okay, you know, wow, we're going to see Luke, we're going to see Luke Skywalker, we're going to see the legend himself, and it's like, why even talk about that when we're not even seeing anything from him, we didn't see him really do nothing in this movie, except for, you know, complain, and, <clears throat> and have a shadow of a man that was supposed to be at legend, and then now we see him just dissipate and go away when he actually, you know, and like, the most badass scene between him was when he just stood there, and he just shrugged off the, uh, the blasters from the walkers. That was like the best scene with Luke. But other than that, it was really disappointing to see Luke, you know, see this. And it's like, really? It's like, we're not going to see the badass Luke Skywalker do something when he was supposed to be a badass in, you know, Empire and Return of the Jedi and New Hope. And it's like, come on. It's like, this is all we get. It was really just disappointing. And more than likely, out of my own opinion, I think he is a Force ghost. Because, and what's also the connection between him and Snoke, it really is more of a, like, a theory and will not probably be explained until episode 9 if it does get explained. Again, from what I've heard, from what I've theorized, if you know about Ryan Johnson's films, he really plays on the mind. He really goes really far into the, the mind to make you think. And also about if Luke really died and if Snoke really died. So it really goes into hand-hand what you guys believe. If you guys have seen the film, let me know what you guys thought about it. Do you think Luke and Snoke are dead? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are new to this channel. Again, leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel if you are new. Links down description below as normal. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. If you guys are with the content, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys are enjoying your day and weekend as well. See you on the next one.